M0 FXB SI4732 mini receiver. Yes, it's true. You can add a waterfall plus a decoder, RTTY, CW, plus many, many more functions described here in this listing on the left. So I just want to warn you that when you try and download the file, because it translates, um, it didn't work on my Chrome. So I had to use, you know, Firefox or Internet Explorer, you know, Microsoft. Um, so just tinker a bit, but it's actually only one zip file that you download with one bin file. And that's all you need to load this up, just one bin file. And you'll find that when you're right at the very top of this page, see here, and I'll put a link in the description. But when you're at the top, you click firmware download, then it takes you to this page. And there's a there's a couple of things you want. You want this flasher here. This um, I'm using the Windows flasher. There is actually an Android flasher, but yeah, and it's they actually tell you how to use it. But I just keep it simple. Windows flasher, download the file which is here, okay? Download current firmware, I'll put a link in, and then it will put it into your downloads folder and then go to that zip. And I've put the zip into a folder, actually the single file into a folder so I can find it. So if we look just here, it's, I called it water, double click, and there's a small little white file called target, and it says here times three water bin, dot bin, okay? And that's all you need, so just, Put, make sure you know where that is because you're going to need it. Then open this flasher, okay? Now I did erase the flash, so get grab your device. I'm going to do it again. If it goes wrong, I won't be happy, but anyway, we'll do it again. USB into my PC, okay? And then it's turned on and it's quite charged up that battery. And you can see it's running the waterfall. It's a bit fiddly to get the waterfall to come on, actually. Just remember that we're in SW3 and we've got seven megs there. And it actually says upper sideband, but we want lower. And unfortunately, waterfall is silent. So when you turn on the waterfall, which is under the uh, the setting ETM Echo Tango mic in the list, um, um, it goes silent. OK, and then it's just like a single press to go back to normal. But it's still fascinating. And remember, we are, I haven't even tested the CW decode yet on all this, um, the RTTY and then all the other million functions that it does. It scans super fast. But anyway, so the first thing you do, you connect it and you want to go at first. You won't have. Let me just, just refresh this. So it starts how I started. I didn't touch the board right. You connect it. You do need to go right click on your Windows square, right click here. Device Manager, and you're looking for your COM port, so just so you know what it is. And mine, you can see that is 48, quite high, but anyway, 48. You need to know that. Then go over to this place here and leave the night the board rate as it is. You don't see a COM number, you just see connect. Hit connect. And a new window opens up and in this window, you need to find that 48. And when I found mine, because it found everything, took me a couple bit of tinkering to find it. Uh, there it is there. And it says US JTAG serial. Let's move it down. Oh, will it go down a bit more? Let's do that again. US JTAG serial. I did find it then, so connect. And da, 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 da. go again. Right, found it. Pet, it actually says paired. Okay, connect. And then once you get connect, this comes to life. This sort of black and white page comes to life. I did erase the flash, the, f the flash. So I did that. Now remember this, it's at your risk. If you brick it and you can't get it working again, that's your problem. You know, this is an experimentation. But it erases it instantly. Then change. The numbers here to zero times zero, just here, zero times zero. Now you're going to choose the file. So here, choose file. And it's taken me straight there because I've already used it. Double click. The file is in there. And now you just hit program. And there it goes. OK, let it do its thing. Takes a while, not long, and it ends up by saying hard 
resetting via RTS pin and then you can wait a few minutes if you're worried. But really, once you've done that, you can take the power out. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait a while and take the power out and put it back in. All right, let's give it a go. And it's still turned on. Put that in. Uh, going to go bigger. Comes to life. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work first time for me, but what I did, I pressed. Let's just get the volume down. Like so. Press again. There's ETM where the thing is. Now, apparently you press. Now, I had to get it into shortwave. So, go to band. Band. And I went to shortwave 3. Like so, press. Then I pressed again. It took me a while to, to get it to do it, but I went to the word ETM, which also seems to fast scan. And I pressed. And see, it's fast, fast scanning. And I pressed and held and let go. And I was faffing to keep going back. <laughs> As you can see. Someone might have a better knack than me. See how fast it is, though. And what's weird, look at this decoder on off. So I think I'll leave it there. Let me just faff around because I think there's a knack to this. But the main thing is you're going to ETM, selecting, and then when you're in this sort of mode here, you can then press this button and it goes into different modes. And and eventually, I just faff it around. Someone let me know. I'm pressing and holding and... That's the short press and then it's, it's chamber. Anyway, it works. You saw at the beginning. Bye for now.